Hi and welcome to Best in Tesla. So Tesla just shared some huge news that their robo taxi network will now be open to all. And the implication of this is not well understood, especially with full self-driving rising in take rate as well, which I think people don't really get how valuable this is for Tesla. Most will probably be surprised by just how much money, just a 10% increase in take rate in the US and China alone will bring in for Tesla. It is huge. So let's check it all out and let's dive right in. So as I talked about in my Overflow news show yesterday, September is going to be very exciting with full self-driving version 14 coming out and Tesla opening their robotaxi network up to the public. But I thought these would both be by the end of the month. But nope, Tesla's Robotaxi account just wrote, Robotaxi app now available to all. Download to join the waitlist, expanding access soon. So this is very exciting. Taking this from invite only to open it up to the public. Tesla will of course have a waitlist to get access as long as they don't have too many cars on the street so they can still control the amount of people that have access to match the robotaxi fleet size. Just like we know it from Waymo. They are still using waitlist in Austin so nothing unusual with that. But this is a big moment as Tesla must be very confident in their software if they are ready to take this public. So this is something the haters are not going to like as this has been one of their talking points that it was only available for Tesla influencers, all just to pump up the stock price, right? This system just doesn't work. Well, now Tesla is opening it up, so even the haters can go take a spin and see how good the system is actually working. So yet another step forward, eating up yet another talking point from the haters. Soon we will get more cars and bigger areas yet again, and then Tesla Tesla will remove the safety drivers, which will also be a big blow to all the haters, as some of them even have been out saying that Tesla will have safety drivers forever. Again, because Tesla software is all just fake. So as Tesla keep executing and eating more and more of the haters talking points, we will no doubt see the haters continue to move the goalpost. Then it will be about Waymo is still driving more miles than Tesla. But when Tesla eventually will get more miles than Waymo and be in more cities and in bigger areas and actually start earning profits on the service, the critics will go silent and start focusing on something else else Tesla can't do or is impossible. Just like we saw with the Model S was vaporware. Well, they ended up being silent by the Model S not only getting to the market, but it won the price of the car of the year and actually the car of the year for the last 70 years as well. Then the Model 3 would not happen and it would not help Tesla to get to profitability because, as you probably remember, they said Tesla was structurally unprofitable. But then in 2020, Tesla did become profitable, so they moved the goalpost yet again. Now it was that they would never become profitable without the credits. But Tesla is still very profitable today and have had positive free cash flow ever since and bulked up their war chest to $37 billion. So the whole notion that Tesla would 100% go bankrupt, well, we have not heard many haters use that talking point for a long time. So because Tesla has launched something new with the Robotaxi, they have a lot of things they can now come out saying will never happen. But if history is anything to go by, Tesla will make that happen as well. And the haters will find something else that is impossible and will never happen. And here's just another example of things the haters use as a talking point against Tesla's Robotaxi. It is only for influencers. Well, no more. And it was only in a little tiny geofenced area in Austin. Well, no more. Expanded four times in Austin and is now having a bigger area in Austin than Waymo and has expanded to San Francisco Bay areas as well. So Tesla will just keep eating up all the talking points until there is nothing left and then the haters will move on to a new thing. 
Remember how so many said the Cybertruck was only a stock punk and would never be made, as it was impossible to make? Well, we don't hear much about that anymore either. But like I have said, Tesla using the Model Y as a robotaxi is actually a brilliant move, as this will show that Tesla has not just made a designated robotaxi. No, all their cars are robotaxis. Tesla only make cars that can drive themselves, and they are actually making close to two millions a year. Waymo, well, that. 2000, and this will be a huge marketing campaign for Tesla, showing to everyone that you can actually buy this car that is driving you around as a robot taxi. But for now, you still have to supervise, of course, in your private Tesla. But it is running basically the same full self driving software. And I do think more and more people are waking up to this, as we also heard from Lars, as I showed in yesterday's news show, that the take rate has gone up just as we have been talking about it would from single digit to the teens. So we don't know exactly what that means, of course. It can be from 9 to 13 or 5 to 19 percent. But this is actually something that matters a lot because Tesla have a full self driving supervised in the US and China. And those two combined account for approximately 72 percent for Tesla's global vehicle sales in 2024, with about 1,278,000 units sold. So if we say Tesla went up, 10% in take rate in these two markets, just to make the math very simple. So something like from 8 to 18, and not include anything from the other markets like Europe or Australia, where they actually can buy the full self driving supervised package. You can also buy the enhanced autopilot here in Europe, but I don't think the take rate is very high here. So let's just leave every other market out of this and only focus on the US and China. Well, if we take the 10% of the 1,278,000 vehicles, we get 127,800 units that either have to subscribe or buy the software. So to make it easy and just to get a feeling on how much value this is for Tesla, let's just say that 10% all bought the software that cost $8,000 in the US. That is just above one billion dollars in profit that Tesla will get on a 10% increase in take rate in the US and China. One billion dollars in profits. So, like I said before, Tesla is not only going to earn money on full self driving software through their robo taxi service like Waymo, just the take rate increase that we are talking about here is making huge profits for Tesla. Just that 10% increase in take rate will make Tesla more money than Waymo does, because Waymo doesn't earn anything at all. They still lose money, and we of course don't have the exact numbers as Waymo doesn't share any financials. But Waymo's parent company, Alphabet, reported that its other bets segments, which includes Waymo, generated $388 million in revenue in Q3 2024 alone. But it still lost money. So Waymo might be generating something like $1 billion in revenue per year, but losing something like 2 to $3 billion a year. So Waymo's total revenue generation is about the equivalent to Tesla's profit generation on just a 10% increase in take rate on their full self-driving supervised in the US and China alone. Only on new car sales, not counting in any of the millions of vehicles on the road in the US that Tesla has already that might buy the full self-driving package as well. This is just on new sales for the next year. Please let that one sink in and think twice about calling Waymo competition with Tesla. So this should also put some perspective on how much better a business case Tesla has than Waymo. And the Tesla RoboTaxi service that just opened up to the public will be a great advertising campaign for Tesla's full self-driving supervised software, as the car that are driving you around in Austin and the San Francisco Bay Area are just a Model Y that you can get from $45,000 in the US without the tax credit that ends here in September. And for every 10% increase in take rate, Tesla will earn another billion dollars in profits. Not bad.
And yes, the tax credit will go away in Q4, but I think Tesla will counter this move with not just more robo-taxis making free advertising for them, but also coming out with more affordable models. So Tesla could launch more affordable model or models, and on top of that, hopefully also get an even higher take rate on full self-driving, and of course more robo-taxi ride as well. But if Tesla should ever make true advertising for their full self-driving software, it would probably be a good idea to do it by the end of this quarter and or the beginning of next quarter, because Tesla could easily offset the losses that inevitably will come with the loss of the EV tax credit, as we also saw happen in the UK and Germany when they stopped their incentive, but we also saw the sales come back up later, as I predicted. But Tesla could probably offset the losses by adding another 10% take rate on full self-driving and adding another billion dollars to the bottom line and also launching a more affordable model. This could probably offset that downward pressure in Q4 because of the loss of the tax credit. But it's going to be very exciting to follow and see what will actually happen. But Tesla is heading for maybe the biggest quarter ever in Tesla's history here in Q3, as Skyly also share prediction markets are expecting Tesla to deliver 501,000 vehicles in Q3. That would be the best quarter ever. And that is, again, Kalshi that has raised their delivery target once again, now just over that 500,000 milestone. So the whole notion that Tesla sales are collapsing will become yet another talking point from the Tesla haters that Tesla has chewed up and spit out, as that will completely fall apart when Tesla will probably have the best quarter ever in Q3. Of course, the haters will probably grab to the excuse that this is all just because of the EV tax credit going away. And in Q4, the sales will be back to collapsing. But the EV tax credits is only in the US and Tesla is looking very strong in China as well. So when Tesla will have another great quarter in Q4, the haters will probably move the goalpost once again and find something new to talk about that is impossible and will never happen. And meanwhile, the haters hate Tesla will just continue to execute, expanding the robotaxi network, launching the full self-driving version 14 that is so much better than the current version, and having even more people wanting that software, adding even more money to Tesla's bottom line. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice.